Hello, I'm here in my studio uh, and I'm just going to show you working on some dry points uh, that I've done with by hand monoprint. Um, so uh, we'll get started on that. If you'd like to see any more videos, please subscribe and like the video. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, I'm at Ruth and Prince there. And also pop along to my website uh, where you can join my mailing list. Um, you get a nice monthly email of new work and workshop dates and things like that. Um, and uh, you can also see what work is available to buy as well on the website. So that's ruthander.co.uk. So these are the pieces I'm going to be working on today. Um, these are dry point etchings. I actually made an etching plate from a card, dry point card, which is kind of just like shiny card, really, that you can scratch the, the shiny bit away. So that's where these lines have come from. As I put the plate through the press with the paper on, I'd also added some monoprint onto the plain bit of the plate, the bit where there wasn't any scratching, any scratch marks or drawing. Um, so this is monoprint here. So I've just rolled ink on and I've wiped it off with my hand or rag. Um, so this is actually a view of um, Uffington Castle. Uh, well, you might know it better as um, the White Horse. Um, there's, there's a Neolithic white horse scratched into the um, chalk downland there. And this is, this is quite close up, so it kind of doesn't look like a horse at all. But you, when you're standing right next to it, it just kind of looks like um, just white marks in, in the earth, really. Um, but it's a beautiful view out across, um, I suppose, Oxfordshire countryside. Um, so the kind of view I love. So um, these have had some collage in already. Um, so I've added collage, but I'm not really happy, particularly with these two here. I'm not particularly happy with them. They need <clears throat> something more. Uh, the sky needs some darkness, I think, probably in it. Um, maybe some lightness as well. Um, I just want to, I don't like this area down here so much. So I'm going to be playing around with this with monoprint now. So next I'm going to show you a very simple um, masking out technique. Um, I'd like to put some sort of red, reddy brown grass type marks, uh, probably in this area, I think. Um, or maybe this area here, but I only want them to be like a very defined area. So one way of doing that is to mark out with tape the area that you want. So this is going to be quite small. And let's put it here. And then we're going to roll our ink onto it. We call paint. And then we can remove the tape. And We can remove the tape and we should then be able to print just really quite um, a limited small area with quite defined lines as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint in there and I'll probably use a smaller roller for this. You're going to need a bit more paint actually. A bit more. see that the red paint is filling the area. I've got hair in there somewhere. This is a, a hazard that sometimes happens. I don't really want hairs on the printing plate when I'm printing because they really do show up. So if you see one, do try and get rid of it. Okay. Got a something on there. Right, so if I now peel this away, there we go, we've got nice defined lines. This is low tack tape, so it shouldn't leave any sticky stuff. Okay, so 
I'm going to just do this by eye in terms of placing it where I want it. Um, it's going to go here, quite near the edge, so that's a bit easier to deal with. And then I just use a knife here. You can I can use the end of the knife or the sharp bit of the knife to again be quite rough like this because your ink is only in a certain area, so you can't really go too far wrong. There we go, and I'm just gonna do a little bit more. And it hasn't actually shown up as much as I'd like, possibly because the actual ink is quite transparent, but can you can see that area there? Even though I was quite rough and ready with that, um, making those marks, it's only picked up the ink, obviously, from, from the defined area where it was. So I think I'm going to do that again, but with some slightly less transparent ink. OK, so just trying that one again. I've just mixed some slightly less transparent ink. So basically I added a little bit of white and a little bit of red. Okay, and I'm just going to try that one again. So if at first you don't succeed, keep trying. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Now these lines are a lot less defined here. However, the, the line at the top where it stops is more defined. And I actually really like that. It's kind of, you can't quite tell how, it, how it's worked. How it's been done so um and i think it adds something to the whole picture as a whole so i'm pleased with that with uh, this one here i'm going to be a little bit more free and easy i'm going to do a similar technique but i'm just not going to mask out the area so i just want some sort of red grasses i guess all along here so i'm just going to roll a bit more of that ink out and then i'm just going to go for it And you can be really gestural making your marks with monoprint. Um, in fact, that's what makes it so wonderful, really. Um, it is a bit like painting. Okay, you don't need loads of ink on when you're doing this type of monoprint because you don't want the red to go absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm going to try and get the red to go over this blue area, sort of cross over um, and along. So let's have a go. I'm going to hold it steady. I'm actually going to be doing this with my left hand, which is not my normal hand. Um, but sometimes you can get some really nice marks like that, where you, you can't really control your hand very well. Actually, what I've noticed is my ink stops about there, so they, those marks probably won't come out. So I might go over again in a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Okay, that's come out really red. <laughs> a little bit more red than I wanted, um, but I think I can work with that. That's really changed, completely changed the picture, actually. Um, yeah, okay. So I think I'm going to, funnily enough, it's picked up on some something in the paper there, I think. I didn't make that mark, I don't think. Um, I actually love these, these sort of really velvety lines, rough lines, kind of rough around the edges. So yeah, I really like this. Not what I planned, but um, I really like it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on the end there. Let's do my left hand again. Okay. OK, so what I've been left with on here is actually where I've pressed into the ink on the back of the paper. It's taken the ink off and I'm left with some lines here. Um, so I'm going to try and take a ghost print. I think I'm going to try and put that little bit of texture essentially um, on here. So I'm actually going to turn the print over because it's going to be a bit easier to place it. if It's upside down. and I'm just going to be quite gentle with it because I don't want loads of red. Just see. So I'm using a baron here, which is just a, a hand printmaking tool, really, a, a Japanese woodblock printing tool. But it works just as well for relief printing or hand printing like this. OK, I'm just going to push down a little bit more on that. OK, 
Okay. So it's not as strong and defined as, as the original, but it does have some texture and movement and colour in there that's adding something to the piece, I think. So I'm, I'm going to actually define these areas, these ghost print areas, just a little bit. Um, what I've done is I've held the picture up against the light and I've just drawn on the back um, where I want to make that definition. So I'm actually just going to use the same ink. I'm not added anymore. And I'm just going to kind of make a more defined area and I'm just going to add some line work pressing into the back of the paper. There we go. Now, I actually really like that. It's just here. And we'll try and do the same on the other side. So I haven't actually got much ink left on there at the moment, so it's just, it's just picking up little bits, actually, which is kind of what I quite like. There we go. Again, yeah, it's just added some things, just to find that area of texture a little bit more. 